lots of dignity that we have in the house before we we'll kick off the program. I'm going to start by one of the topmost when you talk about OPC. I'm talking about the representative of Ariel Nakaka for today's event. He's going to give a speech on behalf of the 15th Ariel Nakaka I'm talking about the Ashudra Ariel Nakaka from Yoruba and Barista Inka Director of Communication. Thank you so much. We have another strong person in the house. He's a very loving father. He's a very calm man. Very articulate every time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome our Latin Latin Olaji Miki, National Financial Secretary, OPC. Please, let's encourage them. Let's encourage them, please. Thank you. I have the one and mighty of OPC. The Baba himself, the one and only Alaji, Devuti Baba Udua, Chief Oi, Lala Awe. I have one of the current and paid basatire OPC strong member. He's the National Director of Program. I'm talking about Chief Duru, okay. One man who has been in, with Ari for a long time is one of the cac inner cacos of OPC. He has been the chairman of Olubu Festival Committee Foundation. I'm talking about Ambassador Kiwa Kwashina I have another strong member of the Olubu Festival Foundation who has been with Ari for a long time too, in person of Ambassador. Chief Mrs. Kemi Oni, Ambassador of Olubu Festival. I have another strong ambassador, Chief Mrs. Mojisola Oni. Chief Mrs. Mojisola Oni. Yes, sorry. I have the Lagos State Secretary of OPC in the midst, Mr. Ola Olu Owosho. I have comrade Kendi Adere me, special assistant on media to our piece of our That is the chief host for today. Yes. Eba Figo Demo, Emma Asongu. Yes, thank you so much. I have a long time on my own. We are here on a kind of Yoruba land. A person of government, Shamsi Dino Sene, special assistant on special duties. That is the Omoare. Yes. I have another strong member who has been with Ariel for so much. He's one of the Omo Ariels of Ariel Nakaka for Comrade Ibrahim Kolyo Show. Thank you, Mr. White. I have graphics. I have Comrade Ulu Sheso Adiloku, who is a graphic, Southwest, in Toronto. Thank you, Abana. Yes. I have Comrade Akim Adu Adil, National Chairman of Social OPC. I have another special assistant to Danny Adams, which is the chairman of the Danny Adams Foundation, person of Mrs. Lydia Ajibani. Then my humble self, Ambassador Aki Bass, member of the local festival foundation. Why well, I'm going to recognize another two powerful NCC member who just walked in and joined us. I have one of the strong members of OPC, who is the open coordinator of Yaba local government, Comrade Rashid Kolapo. And I have the last but not the least, I have Comrade Kayo Dauda. 
at Sonda, yes, National Commandant, OPC. Okay. Please. I have Comrade Sunday Aremu. Okay, today Aremu, sorry. Chairman Intelligence Commandant Department. Thank you so much. He's a lovely brother. He has been with us all the time. Very calm and very, very respected person. Thank you for coming. Sorry, you're not one. Your name was not on my list. Please, if your name is not on the list, please stand up for recognition. Please, can we put an answer now for the press? Men, both media and electronics in the house. Let's put our hands together for them. <laughs> Why I'm going to hand over the mic to the representative of Iron Okakan for Yoruba Land, Iba Gani Abiono Iki Adams. Iba Gani Iki Abiono Adams. We are not, are we sleeping? So, before that, can we please be off while we take my night? National item. National item. Just Nigeria's call to serve Father's land with love and strength and faith the labor of my heroes past shall never be in vain to serve with heart and might one nation bound in freedom Peace and unity. You're bad. He shall walk of the world for he lie be one. This is a text of 
speech delivered by the Aryan Kunar for the Valand and the chief promoter of the Lokum Festival Foundation, the Bagani Abiyodui Gardens. At the pre press conference holding today, Monday the 9th of October 2023, at the Odua People's Congress National Secretariat, Odua House, located at number 14, Ezekiel Street, off Toy Street, Ikeja, Lagos. I welcome you all to this press conference organized by Ulukun Festival Foundation. The reason for this conference is to unveil our programs for this year's edition of the annual Ulukun Olosa Festival. The festival is an annual cultural fiesta that takes place in Badagri, Lagos State. It is one festival that also attracts prominent dignitaries and tourists from all over the world. Over the years, the Lokum Festival Foundation has been the major sponsor of the festival and we have succeeded in telling the Yoruba cultural promotion story by celebrating the Lokum Olosa Festival in a unique way. Every year, we come into the festival with lots of programs to tell the world about the uniqueness of Yoruba culture, tradition, and our heritage. This year is another milestone of the annual fiesta, and we are coming up with a new standard. That is why we have invited all of you, our friends in the media, to help us do justice to this year's Olokun Olosa Festival by reporting all the events in your various media. Olokun Olosa Festival is a special festival in the calendar of the Olokun Festival Foundation. It is the second most celebrated festival in our annual cultural fiesta program. The reason for celebrating this festival, like every other festival, is to promote Yoruba culture and traditions. It is also to project the values and cultural identity of our race. Every year, we celebrate the grand finale of the Olokun Festival in Badagri, Lagos State. And the idea is to showcase the beauty of nature and also to reflect the spiritual meaning of Olokun Olosa in the annual festival. It is also to showcase the serene ambience of the ancient town of Badagri, Lagos State. Apart from all this, it is also very important to tell you all that the Lukum Festival attracts more than 10,000 tourists coming from every part of the world. Tourists come from neighboring countries like Republic of Benin, Togo, and even from South Africa, and also from countries like Brazil and Cuba and other countries of the world. They come annually to witness the global events. Gentlemen of the press, it's very important to inform you also that as we celebrate the annual fiesta, the Olokun Festival Foundation spends over 100 million naira annually to celebrate the festival. However, with the present economic situation in the country, our budget this year is also on the high side. The Olokun Festival Planning Committee planned and worked every day to improve the standard of the annual event. In spite of the high budget and cost implications of the festival, the good news is that we are inspired by the spirit of the Most High God to do more. And we are also motivated by our past records of successes and achievements as a cultural promotion outfit. Interestingly, every year, members of the Odua People's Congress contribute majorly to the success of the local Olosa Festival 
without any sponsor, whether from corporate or government agencies or individuals. That is to tell you that our members are committed to promoting the cultural identity of the Yoruba race. The cultural identity of our race, we are also not unaware of the huge task of changing the ugly narratives of the Yoruba race. In sustaining these laudable ideas, we have a ready-made template of activities and programs for all the festivals. And our doors are always open for sponsors and a robust partnership that will further strengthen the bond of unity in Yoruba land and even beyond. As far as we are concerned, all our activities are keenly tailored to the glory of God and also for the progress of the Yorubaris. And over the years, Ulukumolosa Festival has become a big festival in Lagos State. The standard this year is even more impressive with all the programs coming up every day without stress or rancor. Let me say it openly that this year's festival is fully loaded with various programs. Gentlemen of the press, I crave your indulgence as I read the highlights of the program of activities for this year's Ulukum Olosa Festival. After the press conference today, we begin the program tomorrow, Tuesday, 10th of August 2023, with prayer to Almighty God. The program comes up by 11 a.m. tomorrow at this venue. More importantly, the program is mainly a spiritual and religious encounter with the Most High God. Both the Muslims and Christians and also the traditional believers will come together to offer prayers for the organization. Prayer to Almighty God is one event that reflects our beliefs in the power of our prayers and the unequal abilities of God, the supreme being in all our affairs. Prominent clerics in Christianity, Islam, and even the traditionalists are invited to offer prayers at the event. And we seek the face of the Almighty God in ensuring that this year's festival is successful. We also offer prayers for the progress of the organization, for Yoruba land, and also for the country at large. On Friday, the 13th of October 2023, also at this venue, we are holding the Ulukum Festival Lecture and Yoruba Quiz. The lecture and Yoruba quiz competition are both intellectual programs that will broaden our knowledge about sundry issues, including social, political, cultural, and educational issues. The programs will focus on the need to restore the core values of Yoruba race, as well as engendering unity among the stakeholders. The programs seek to teach the young and the old the moral values of Omoluabi and the significance of keep, promoting keep sharing the it. Of Share it to all pages. The following day, which will be Saturday, 14th of October 2023. We shall hold the prestigious Olokun Festival Beauty Pageant at this venue. The Beauty Pageant is a normal tradition in our cultural festival, and this year's edition promises to be 
read as you have known the beauty pageant showcases two things beauty and brains through the pageant we explore the beautiful world of our beauty beauty queens and we test their intelligence capacity aura mood and character Gentlemen of the press, I'm happy to tell you that in the last couple of years, the local festival foundation has produced world and global ambassadors through the beauty project. Some of them will grace the occasion to add glamour to the event. After that, all roads will lead to Padak in Lagos State for the Olosa program coming up on Tuesday, 17th of October 2023. The Olosa program, according to our schedule, will be in the sequence. Beginning with the court CBC to the Oba Oba Dagri, Oba Akan, Oba the Weno Aholu, Aholu Weno Toi the first. Then, shortly thereafter, we shall begin the Olosa, Olosa boat regatta. Festival float, Ayolokon, Gala Night, and Olokon Night Eve, all in one day. Another important feature of this year's festival is a special vigil prayer to be conducted in front of Olokon between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. by all members of the Oduwa People's Congress on the eve of the grand finale. It is a special prayer foretold by Ifa Divinity to bring about the spiritual blessings for Nigeria, for Yoruba land, and for all Yoruba sons and daughters. It must be stated here also that each of the participants present at the front of Olokun will hold in their hands a dove signifying the symbol of a special prayer session for blessings, peace and tranquility for each and every member that are present at the VG prayer session. The two hour VG prayer session is to seek spiritual intervention for Nigeria, for Yoruba land and for individual sons and daughters also, for the Olosa goddess, each and every one of the participants will bring along a bag of salt as foretold by the Far Divinity. For us, this year's festival is about the spiritual rejuvenation of our being and cultural rebirth of our race. It is purely a win win cultural fiesta. The grand finale of this year's edition of Olukun Festival will come up on Wednesday, the 18th of October 2023, at Sultan Beach, Badagli, Lagos State, by 11 a.m. That is the schedule of the 10 day cultural fiesta. Gentlemen of the press, the grand finale is the climax of the cultural fiesta. It is a big event that captures the beauty of Yoruba culture and traditions. In the course of the program for the grand finale, we are also showcasing the spiritual affinity of Aguba Adiolukun as a symbol of the grand finale. The Aruba Adi Olukun will be praying for all the participants at the grand finale. And I want to assure you that this year's event is an eye-opening account of the rich culture and heritage of Badagi. It is both a cultural and an economic booster for the ancient town of Badagi. I must also not fail to tell you that at the grand finale this year, we are expecting over 30,000 guests. 
First among other guests expected at the grand finale is the Executive Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Mr. Babajide Sonwodo. The Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture of Lagos State, Honorable Tukke Bensi Ayoyinka, and other government officials. The Akan of Badagi, Royal Majesty of the Weno Aholu. Aholu Weno Tui the first, is the royal host, and he will be leading more than 30 monarchs to the event. The Okere of Shakiland, his royal majesty of Akalid, Oyeni, Olabisi, will be the royal father of the day. We also have the Onipereko of Ibereko Kingdom, His Royal Majesty over Israel, Adiwale Okoya, the Aholu Engwa of Kweme Kingdom, His Royal Majesty over Sejiro Ukumbe James, JP Ukiki Arola Gade, and Alapa of the Gwawuri, Akpa Kingdom, Royal Majesty of Bao, you come here, Joseph, among others as royal fathers of the day. At the grand finale, we have made adequate arrangements for the security of all the guests and participants, and it is our hope that nothing short of a breach of the security arrangements will occur. Gentlemen of the press, I want to use this opportunity to cordially invite you all to this epoch-making event. More importantly, everything is set and we are good to go as we celebrate the 2023 edition of Ulupun Olosan Festival in the most amazing way. And on this note, let me conclude my address by reminding you all of the spiritual benefits for those that attend this year's edition of the local festival. My father and leader, the Iron Organ for Global Land and Chief Promoter of the local Festival Foundation, Iba Dani Abiyodu Adams, will always say that the spiritual benefits of attending the Olokun Olosa Festival is measurable. It is not something you can figure out ordinarily as an individual. The blessings of Olokun Olosa is all the compassion and it revolves around every aspect of our lives. It is beyond the physical realm and as such, I urge you all to make the best use of these opportunities that come with the celebration of the 2023 edition of the local festival. Thanks for listening. God bless you all. And on behalf of the Iron Account for Yoruba Land, and Chief Promoter of the Local Festival Foundation, Iba Gani, Abiyodun Giyadams. I, Barista Yinka Ufutime, Director of Communications for the Local Festival Foundation, read this speech today. Thank you. Let's be outstanding and you will be very, very welcoming. Yes. Very, very interesting. Let's, let's, let's record it. It's not easy. Thank you. Let's sit down. It's very, very on point. That's why I call him City Boy. You know, he knows how to tackle everything. Whenever I don't want my party, he knows how to behave to his boys. Whenever I incorporate the bed, he knows what to do to his boys. So I always enjoy him, Barrister. That's a very nice one. He's very attentive, very straightforward. And we appreciate him for that. And I think wherever he is now, he'll be very happy that he'll do justice to it. Yes, he'll be feeling it. 
a spiritual, in a spiritual man, so you'll be feeling that you have done justice to it. So I'm going to give the order, I mean the president, we have one or two questions, so that you can answer it. Um, keep, sorry, for benefit of some programs that are running on Yoruba, just summarize for five minutes what the event is all about. Just five minutes, what the event is all about in Yoruba. And so, before we now go to question and answer, go normal, let us summarize it. most you city boy, you Be if 
to go and then celebrate or no look on that to have a tea. Or those I know are celebrate here. Kijibi have been celebrate here. Ah, okay, cause it time. Tell them, let them know. You will look on your own. Then no, you will look on your own. Then 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 you will look on your own. So, Olokun Olokun la pronounce the word so apparent. Tell it. I will look at one or lost at no. That's if you back up. The issue is that the person celebrate or lost at the celebrate not the people. I confess to you, but by your mind, Olokun or lost at the celebrate that the people. You bear me. Ni ori ibe rekeji. Tori umuteni ushere donu to kaja. Awo mi wa, awo kanda nu resi. Awo mi de wa tu yepe ene a ishe ni wo. Ti wo fe ba yepe yoro kaje. Ni no odu ti odu i ati koleka si kuku awo ato firu ni a firu ish a firu noche si kuku awo ato firu. Bem, não é a o custo a mais alto a sua bode. E ah, só fomos o meu bem com com o piso com com o bem colorar e resi. De puto no, ele está batendo mo com feijão feio. A de que só fomos o boa o meu bem baixo a. E ah, vai o bem de quente. Que ora a golo e resi com Kama so mutu, kama wa so budi dia ko. Lati kutoa, kuri joba Nigeria kuba, ibe kwa ku ile simboli la tibota, ufile yuo bali. This is a law abiding organization. Awa kingu fili bi. So unu do shere ni, unu do kujia ni kude shere na ni amu kusimani. Kuri ati fa kubo mwa kubeti. Thank you. That means you didn't listen to the speech. I'm very sure you didn't listen to the speech. If you listen to the speech, you have known the social economy of that particular speech. They even emphasize on it very well. And I think it's going to summarize a bit. Okay, um, if you listen very well to my speech or to our speech, I've said the number of guests we are expecting at this year's event is a minimum of 30,000 guests. And you know the financial implication of having 30,000 guests at a particular event. There will be financial intermediation. By financial intermediation, what I mean is that money will exchange hands, money will flow. It will aid tourism, it will aid flow of money. It, it is um, an income earner. For everyone out there, but that you cannot really quantify the benefits of the festival in pecuniary terms. I've said it in my in the speech I just read, and not only this is not a peculiar to the local loss and festival. All our festivals we celebrate nothing less than seventy festivals every year. If you visit any of, if you visit any of, or if you attend any of our festivals, you are attest to what I'm saying in terms of the pecuniary uh, contribution to the particular locality. And of course, you cannot uh, take away the spiritual benefits to both the participants singularly or individually, and also the states. Ditto Nigeria at large. 
So the gains of the festival are so enormous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who have you? Brother, you like me, sit in the room. The bad day, 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 so economic effect is just too much. And the social effect will see. Even though the Olopo the pitch here for an old man or one by the Bukwari, or one poor, see Olopo, I say, I will lose at the man's school one way on the Otolot. Because if you don't know to my poor is using come, come and replace Olopo. So it's a lot in terms of social and spiritual economic to the nation. So thank you so much. Can we have one question, one more last question? Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Patrick Okowe. I work for the Telegraph newspaper. My question is this event has always been held in Badagri. If we are to say the event was held in Lagos, there are other places like Badagri, Ekbe, for instance. Some of these Lagos Islands in Africa, for instance. What is the significance of Badagri that that is why we are always host this event? Can't you take it to a bed and turn it off to a bed? I know, I know, you have one bed, I know that for a fact. So, that's so nice. Oh, yeah, good Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, the gentleman from uh, Telegram. I'm surprised you know that I'm from the bank. <laughs> city boy, everybody knows city boy. <laughs> okay, well, um, the truth of the matter is that the local festival started, uh, or we started the celebration of the local festival from uh, uh, Alpha Beach on the island, Lagos Island. So it was after our consultation with Ifa Divinity that we were directed to the Bible. Even though you have mentioned some other places as alternative routes, but uh, uh, this organization is one that believes so much in the uh, spirituality and uh, also the dictates of the father nation. Now, at a pair, uh, there's no beach like that in the world. There's no beach like that in the world. And apart from that, you see, all over the southwest, we have dedicated festivals for different localities. In Nepal, we celebrate Grandmother's Festival. There, that's Odwamo Yalba. I want to do a little for a You know what I'm talking about. So we, 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 we celebrate the festival of the grandmothers at the point. Just like uh, at the same, we celebrate the Uru festival. At uh, Abel Kuta, the Ogo State, we celebrate the Uru festival. At Arikiri uh, uh, Ogo State, we celebrate the Okota festival. At uh, Ikorodu in Lagos State, we celebrate Kukum Festival. At uh, uh, Oyo, Ibano, we celebrate uh, Okibano Festival. At uh, Abado Kyodu, we celebrate Erodu Festival. So many villages, so many towns in Yoruba are continuously asking us to celebrate one form of festival or the other at their location. And uh, uh, festival we celebrate at uh, Ilefe in Osho State. We celebrate Osho Shoko at uh, Moshoko, also in Osho State. We celebrate Osho State, uh, Oya festival at uh, Ira and Kwara State. We celebrate Elekbara Ele festival at Shasha, Lagos State. We celebrate Age festival at Agege. 
the gospel. So this this uh, is a social cultural organization, and we don't have. Uh, in fact, the, our activities are run by the members, and that is the reason why from every now and then we always solicit for government partnership and also corporate partnership. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think in terms of in this Nigeria and Africa, there is no independent organization that has celebrated festival more than OPC. Go and check the record. Independently, they have been celebrating so many festivals without government participation. So we give kudos to them. Even though this year, yes, over 25 million naira budget will be solicited within OPC organization without interference from any government. So I give kudos to OPC. Yes. And I'm telling you that everybody around the local festivals are professionals in their different ways. They have volunteered their time, their energy, their talent to contribute to the development of a local festival. And OPU and OPC as a whole. So we appreciate the 15 area of the town from the Land for coordinating and for putting all these resources together, you understand, to promote the Urbanis as a whole. So we appreciate everybody. Thank you. God bless you. So as I said, I'm going to give the mind to Ambassador Mui Wash Maggie to give both of thanks. Yeah, um, very exciting day. Um, and I'm sure we all enjoyed our self listening and uh, be familiar with all our programs for the year. Um, let me assure you again, um, the gentleman of the press, if you've never been there, Golobu is not organized, Golobu Festival is not organized by anybody. It's organized by good hands, both from the OPC caucus and then we professionals from the outside. So it's a touch of excellence that we do with the local festival foundation and all our festivals. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that takes me to just say thank you for coming today on behalf of the area of the for you, the whole land. Eba, Gane, or Bebe, the Adams. No, I want this one longer. On behalf of the 15 area of the for of you, the land, Eba, Biodu, the Adams. I say thank you for coming to all the SEC members, all the ambassadors that are here. And the names have been mentioned that we want to go right to him because we're taking so much of your time. So I say thank you very much for all the ambassadors, all the working um, ambassadors from the office of the Adonoka Council, all the gentlemen of the press from Lagos State. We need to do something to just let us know by each where you come from. You are from Radio Lagos. Thank you so much. I love the TV. Thank you so immensely. Bon de Ferma, my dear brother, Bon de Ferma, how are you? Thank you so much. Minister of Information, we have you here. You've never come before. Yes, we have you here this year. Round of applause for Minister of Information. We are coming with this event. Yes, we are you from um, STV. Thank you so much for coming. Emails, emails online. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, Thank you so much. Same, same Uh Same from the Telegraph. Royal Obolu. They are just coming for the first time. So we have three people joining us for the first time. It's going to be an awesome time. You enjoy your awesome. Um, yeah. Local man, all of from the sun is Yes, yes. From where, sir? From MIT, we are friends from MIT. A particular man, Kiawo, we say thank you so much. And um, all the team together, we say thank you for. I think I'm going to say, I'm going to say, what do you say? Especially to our one and only 
one of the top notch, one of the top notch in the <laughs> we carry on the camera, we thank you so much. Ah, uh, Bashi too. I'm not doing your job. <laughs> All the NCC. Uh, point of contact, special uh, chief I, um, chief for you, we thank you. Everybody, we'll see you. Tomorrow is another day. Um, the president will invite you tomorrow. Also. And on Friday, it's going to be, uh, that's the intellectual part. You have to be here for the lecture and Yoruba Boost Conference. It's going to be an awesome time. You keep coming on Friday. Don't forget. Keep looking at your time. We'll be reminding you on Saturday is the beauty pageant here. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you as you go. Please, can we be outstanding? Let's everybody be outstanding, please. Let's everybody be outstanding. We want to appreciate ourselves. Let's everybody be outstanding. Kenny, please come around. Mr. Kenny, come around. We are the host for today's program. We are the host. Yes. Are is not here and is simply represented by Ashoju. Please actually be seated. Be seated. We want to show appreciation to on behalf of Are. So we are going to give him a locomotive clapping. It's not yet, but the friend is present. The friend is in part and you have done justice. So wash my hand and then you clap. Just wash my hand and you clap. Let's go. Thank you very much. That is the way a train moves. Train man and I move there again. I didn't move faster. What we are saying is that at the end of the day, we might slow in success, but we'll move faster to achieve our success. May God bless everybody. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. We thank you to the MC for today, Ambassador Babs, MBCEO. Bob's Boots. Thank you. Committee, let's have a meeting for just three minutes. Committee, let's have a meeting for three minutes.